way that it was done, to me, was not professional. And I think I said that the day that I refer to as the ambush. Um, the way Clay was treated prior to that and the disrespect, uh, I own that. I own that because I didn't stop it. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, well, two or three hours later, I get a call from Jamie and Alyssa, and they say to me, we got kind of a disturbing letter from your county. And I said, my county? Uh, they got a letter from our prosecutor asking to appraise the buildings from Mona County. Again, that's okay to do that. The timing of that couldn't have been any worse. I didn't know anything about the letter. And trust me, that did nothing to reassure Jamie and Melissa. So what I'm saying is, you know, this board has always demanded transparency uh, from the staff here. Transparency goes both ways. That's why we're here today. I don't think Jamie wants to leave at all. But given everything that happens, and I felt yesterday like it, it just sabotaged everything that we've been trying to do. What he needs today is some reassurance from this board that things are gonna change. That we're gonna be upfront and we're gonna be transparent. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know where things are going to head at this point. A maintenance supervisor, of all people. And then he's talking to me about Tusk County bowing out of the system. And that just totally, the, the hour plus that I spent talking to everybody, that just totally crushed the meeting. And it's almost like everything I said was all for nothing. Good. And receiving that letter yesterday, it was like taking one step forward and 10 giant steps back. We sit around these, these, we spend valuable taxpayer dollars talking about what if situations. And that to me, that is unhealthy. That, that is unhealthy. And that's why when I, when I spoke at the last meeting, I talked about the security, I talked about my wife, I talked about my daughter, because that's what's important to me in my life. And being the number one income, I need that. I need that security blanket in moving forward. And yesterday was a tit, was a prime example of what happens around this place. Not just yesterday, but all the time. Every time we feel good about going somewhere, we get a request, we get this, we get that. And then we're sitting there, well, what do you think they want by this? What do you think they mean by this? Um, you know, we, we were kind of told in a meeting, what, sharpen up our resumes or whatever the exact term was? Uh, and another administrator at our Stark building was told the exact same thing. And a lot of scare was put in us the last couple months. And that's, it, it's hard to work in that environment. It really is. You know, but the C-suite individuals, they receive that information. They're not supposed to disseminate that information out mm -hmm. to the rank and file. And that's one of the problems I see. Whoever does it, whether it was a previous person or whomever, you know, it, it, uh, you it, just like you get emails. You don't, you know, I didn't send all those emails on to my people when I was in a private sector because I didn't want them to ferret through, and a lot of them are junk, and it doesn't matter, you know. But the, in the same sense, when you receive information, and this appraisal is no different, this appraisal is just for us to say we're weighing all our options. And as a matter of fact, once it's done, any county can use that same appraisal. It'll be done. And probably we haven't had an appraisal of the system for several years. So this will be an update of what we have. Okay. But you know, in in a sense, because it's not cheap either. This is a, this the appraisal is not going to be cheap and we're we're paying for it. Um, but you know, all that needs to stay in this in in the leadership. Um, I'm with I'm with Sylvia. In an operation like this, transparency is gonna have to be the case because this is a governmental function. That letter is a public document. 
So you can say we're going to keep things, you know, inside, but the fact is that's not going to work. Uh, that's just not how things work uh, in, in our governmental entity here. There are two things that we need to focus on that relate to Jamie, and that's largely why we're here. The first is, do we have organizational commitment? The second is, do we have confidence and support for his ongoing leadership here? Those are the two questions. And there is no question in my mind as it relates to Wayne County, and I think I can speak for more than myself in terms of our you know, involvement in this, that both those things are positive. Uh, it would be a, a loss if, if we were to be out of the system, our expenses are gonna go through the roof. And that, I'm talking not just about today, but I'm talking about uh, the path that we are on for how we're gonna deal with the reason we're here, which is juveniles who are, have issues and are struggling. I, I think <clears throat> since it's been brought up about appraisals and this and that, that's just one little piece of the puzzle. I don't believe any of us sitting in this room were here at the inception of this Alta County. Am I correct? It feels Seven, like it's 1972, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm serious. And so, you know, the documents that I received the other day were anything I could get off the internet. What I'm, what I'm saying is we need to get some documents on how it got put together to know that if a county wanted to go out, well, there has got to be a cost and effect for all. And then they could lay that out so that if that would ever occur, if that would ever occur, and I, and I don't believe it should, but if it would, they would know up front what their cost and effect is. Okay. And I truly believe we're better together. We are better together than apart. And financially, and also the ideas and everything that we bring. So yeah, hitting a little bump in the road here, but you know what? I think we're gonna be better for it in the long run, but I also think mm -hmm. we need the data and the information collected if for no other reason but to get it in the file so that we all have that peace of mind that it's there.